Hello and welcome to our tutorial. In this video, you will see two different components. Groups and tabs. The group component allows you to combine several components of a dashboard. Groups have two purposes. First, to combine multiple components into a separate layout group. Second, to manage the interactions between dashboard components inside and outside the group. To add a group, click on the group icon in the component area. To add a dashboard component in the group, select the component and drag it into the group. You can add as many components as you want. To manage the interaction between dashboard items within and outside the group, click on the cogwheel or right-click on the group to display the interaction menu. The master filter button controls whether the current group allows you to filter dashboard items outside the group using the dashboard components contained within the group. By default, this option is disabled. Dashboard components in the group can filter only dashboard items from this group. A click on 2020 only filters the pie chart in the group and doesn't filter the cards. If we activate the master filter option, now when we select a year in the graph, it filters the components in the group and outside the group. The Ignore Master Filters button allows you to isolate dashboard items contained within the group from external master filter items. By default, this option is enabled. External master filter items cannot filter the dashboard items contained within the group. A click on a sales representative doesn't impact the components in the group. If we disable the option, now a click on GB Pack filters the pie chart and the graph. Let's have a look now at the tab component. It allows you to create pages and combine several components in these pages. To add a tab, click on the tab icon in the component area. Then click on the plus button to add a new page. You can drag one or many components into this page. You can manage the interaction of a tab by clicking on the cogwheel of the corresponding tab. It is the same principle as for the groups. You can activate the master filter to filter outside the tab or ignore the filters that are coming from outside the tab. In the layout, you can change the name of your tab and also rearrange the tabs in the order you want. When your tab contains only one dashboard component, you can activate the option display item as page in order to merge the dashboard item with the tab page and to display a single caption. To add another page to the tab component, let's click on the plus button. We then drag the group inside the new page. To learn more about all the available functionalities, refer to the online documentation. 